Okay, uh, here we have this uh, CPU, and uh, at this uh, this level we have um, a si simple uh, array for, for LED array for the BCD switches. I can change this value here, and uh, when I'm satisfied, I can latch this into the system. Uh, and uh, up here we have uh, the address bus uh, they are 16 bits and um, most significant bit is on the upper side and here we have the data bus 8 bits and down here we have uh, the output arrays but the CPU in this stage never reaches this level uh, up here we have the program uh, memory, RAM, and all the six prompts needed for generating all the 48 control signals. Uh, down here we have uh, the instruction register counter, which uh, you have seen before, uh, increments from 0 to 7, and uh, the, the seven, this these red LEDs are not used in this special case, but, but indicates the branch instructions and flags actually. And this is the address, the IR address, which addresses all the six prompts, which generates all the 48 control signals. Um, what I'm now going to show you is what happens at power on. I have some problem with this LED I'm pointing at now. It's uh, A15 for the IR uh, addresses. It uh, doesn't work all the time. But I, I will try to reset this by turning off the, the power and uh, on it again. This should then be unlit. Everything is off. Now it's on. It works. Look there. FFFE and the value is 90. FFF and the value is 00. zero. Uh, what happens now is that at the content of this PROM, you see 9001 has the value 4, and 9002 has the value 00. zero. And now when uh, we come to the next step. It shines green here. This is uh, ready, and, and the value from there goes there and addresses all of these prompts. And uh, this is an uh, uh, awful video. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it off. <laughs>